Hello there. My name is Piotr Luszczek, and I will be talking about portable performance in numerical linear algebra software with OpenMP. I am from the University of Tennessee, and also I'm affiliated with the Innovative Computing Laboratory. So let's start with the first library that we work on at the University of Tennessee, which is Plasma. And the name Plasma stands for Parallel Linear Algebra for Scalable Multicores and Accelerators. The library itself is for dense uh, linear uh, least squares, eigenvalue and singular value uh, decomposition, including computing the vectors. Uh, the tile mat matrix layout is the primary way of storing the data, and OpenMP4 testing is the primary way of uh, scheduling the work in Plasma. The uh, other threading var variants uh, that were uh, supported in Plasma were POSIX, which, which is now obsolete, w Windows Threads, which is also obsolete, and OpenMP tasks, uh, including uh, version 4 tasks without priorities and version 4.5 tasks with priorities are currently the only supported mode in Plasma. The uh, compilers targeted by uh, Plasma are open source software such as LLV and CLang, uh, with, starting with version 11, and GNU GCC compilers starting with version 10. The accelerator vendors provide uh, OpenMP4 uh, tasking and offload, including AMD AOMP 11 compiler, Intel uh, One API uh, compiler suite, and NVIDIA HPC SDK starting with version 20. Uh, and the, also the hardware integrators such as IBM um, and their XL16 compilers and HPE and Cray starting with their compiler version 9. A Plasma a software stack is based on uh, open standards uh, such as Core Blast, C Blast, LAPAC E, C LAPAC, and Blast. And OpenMP is used to target multi core CPUs uh, with the task and task loop uh, constructs and the accelerators with the offload directives for data transfers and uh, offload kernels. Uh, Plasma uh, also includes uh, support for many other vendors and software stacks. And here is the uh, entire complete diagram as we support it within the ECP uh, project. So on the left, we have BLAS and LAPAC. There are the chosen ways of uh, computing on uh, ARM uh, math libraries, uh, IBM's ESSL and Intel's MKL. Plus 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 and LAPAC plus plus are the interfaces that we support on top of Kublas, OneMKL, and Rock Plus on the GPU accelerators. And we use uh, OpenMP and related projects in ECP such as Solve, uh, IBM Excel compiler, and Intel OpenMP support on both their CPUs and GPUs. And for the uh, special support for performance and profiling, uh, we also in included software-defined events and the ExaPuppy, and all of these run on uh, all the Exascale hardware platforms. The Plasma task scheduling is based on defining tasks and running their computational kernels on either the, uh, the cores on the CPU side or on the GPUs whether one or multiple GPUs are present in a single node. And those tasks are connected with data dependencies that are based on, uh, on data directive that is supported in OpenMP tasking starting with version 4. Uh, there is a portability layer uh, that we use to make sure that the uh, Plasma library runs uh, the same way and the code looks uh, almost the same, uh, regardless of the accelerator and compute target that we support. So in this slide, we show that we use uh, OpenMP uh, uh, runtime functions, such as OpenMP get default device to obtain the default, uh, default device. We allocate the, the memory with the uh, proprietary uh, malloc uh, direct, uh, function call and then we use the OMP uh, target offload to run the relevant uh, function such as uh, a matrix matches multiply as, as is uh, performed by MKL underscore DJ. And this is all surrounded by the, the proper variant dispatch on the, on the accelerator. 
So doing so, uh, we use the common interfaces that either reuse or emulate established interfaces. And those include uh, DJM on the CPU, CUDA DJM on NVIDIA accelerators, HIP DJM on AMD accelerators, ROG DGEM for low-level access to uh, AMD devices, and MKL DGEM on a GPU, GPU supported by Intel. Uh, to make it uh, the, the memory allocations portable across the devices, we use the OpenMP target allocation routines, so we don't have to uh, select in the code, but we allow the OpenMP to choose the proper allocation routine. So we use the OMP target alloc, alloc for locating memory, OMP target mem copy for moving the data between the accelerator and the CPU, and finally OMP target free to freeing the memory um, and making it available to other uh, computational libraries. So with these uh, abstractions, uh, we have um, uh, we have ability to use uh, practical structures for objects and create uh, data for users uh, inside uh, portable containers. And that way we can improve the user experience, make it both high performance and portable. And we have an object hierarchy that supports matrices, vectors, and different execution policies, depending whether we target host or the device. Uh, and also we focus on to make sure that uh, low-level constructs specific to a particular accelerator are also supported. So in this example, we show how we have a OpenMP a target offload supporting a specific uh, a functionality that is only available on NVIDIA devices. So we use the OMP get CUDA stream to obtain uh, the CUDA uh, <clears throat> software stacks uh, stream and then using that stream, we can pass it along directly into uh, Kublas that implements matrix, matrix multiply through the call to Kublas DGEM. Another library that also uh, heavy that relies on OpenMP support for portability is Slate. Uh, the name stands for Scalable Linear Algebra Targeting Exascale. And it has uh, multiple uh, targets that can be selected during the compilation. So we have a full support for distributed memory. We have support for multi-core uh, CPUs, and we have support for multi-GPU systems. Uh, the storage uh, has very flexible in Slate and allows affinity tracking. So at any given time, Slate knows how a particular portion of a matrix is laid out and where it exactly located. Is it on the GPU, is it on the CPU, or is perhaps on both? because it's been copied and one of the copies were not disposed of yet. And uh, Slate also has support for generic algorithms. So that means that uh, there is uh, support of generic data types and all the code in Slate is performed ex ex against those generic data, uh, data types. And those then get uh, concretized into particular types for testing or in user code. So a generic type might become a single precision floating point value or another example, double precision complex value. And the algorithms supported by Slate uh, include both dense and low rank algorithms. And in terms of supported hardware, uh, Slate supports uh, ARM processors, pa IBM power processors, and x86 uh, processors from either Intel or AMD. Uh, the GPUs supported by Slate include CUDA, HIP, and SICL, which are the portability layers for NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel GPUs, respectively. And for distributed memory, Slate supports uh, MPI in a multi-threaded mode. Uh, the uh, algorithmic scope of Slate is very large. It includes dense algorithms, very similar to those uh, supported by Plasma, and those would be linear least squares, eigenvalue, and SVD. It has multiple matrix types and storage types, including rectangular matrices, uh, square matrices, triangular, and trapezoidal matrices, and they are arranged in an object hierarchy, depending on how uh, the generalization and specification uh, of these types 
is uh, intuitive to the users. And Slate also supports log rank algorithms, uh, including, for example, low rank tiles and ACA compression. And OpenMP uh, uh, runtime coordinates uh, with MPI, with the use of cores and with launching kernels on the devices. Uh, and I also mentioned earlier that we have uh, reusable portability layers that are also used not just in Plasma and Slate, but also in other projects. So for dense and batch kernels that hide uh, HPC compute code, we have Blast Plus Plus and Alipack Plus Plus libraries that basically correspond to the standard Blast and standard Alipack interfaces provided by Netlib and, and other vendors. And for randomized kernels and algorithms uh, that, that are hiding uh, HPC randomization, projections, and iteration, we have RAND Blast and RAND Alipack. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.